Hey everybody, welcome to Pop This Presents. I'm your host, Brent Butler, and today I'm here with She Nova. Hey, how's it going, Brent? Very good. Thank um, you for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate it. So we've like sort of known each other for a little while on the gram. On the gram. And now we're meeting IRL. IRL. Oh yeah, that's real life. I know that. I know mm -hmm. that. I'm this generation, the next generation? What yes. is it? This generation? This, yeah, we're on this one. But, okay. But the nec next is coming up next, actually. A millennial. That's what I was looking for. I'm a millennial. Okay. <laughs> I know what IRL is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of things that are uh, done in letters, um, you currently have a ADHD AF is your latest single. It sure is, yes. And I am ADHD as frick, as I call myself. Um, I was just hanging out with one of my writer friends that I co-write with. And he wanted to get to know me, and I was like, really, the only thing you have to know is I'm ADHD AF, because that pretty much sums me up. Um, I'm very hyperactive. I'm kind of random and constantly imagining crazy things in my mind uh, all the time. So uh, it was fitting. So we rolled with it, and he was like, that's the single. So we wrote it that day and did it. <laughs> very cool. Yeah. And the video just came out, correct? Yes, it did. Uh, Wednesday, I think, just a few days ago. All right, we're going to cut to a clip of that real quick. And my parents. Whoa, that was awesome. What, what happened? A, what a cool video. Oh, what yeah. <laughs> so uh, tell people, um, you know, a bit about that concept mm -hmm. and how it came about. Yeah. So for this video, I wanted to show the dark and fun side to what it's like in my mind having ADHD. Um, there is a very colorful, fun, playful, um, childlike, um, imaginative side to me. But the crazy thoughts going on in my head all the time it can sometimes turn negative. So there's a dark side as well where um, there's just chaos sometimes because my brain is going a million miles a second. So I wanted to show both of those worlds of what it's like. Yeah. Um, so I, I did a lot of color. I did a lot of uh, props and fun things for that side. And then the dark side, we did some red. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show the contrast because not a lot of people know. Speaking of color, you have a very, a very purple aesthetic, which I... I very much appreciate <laughs> that the deep cut fans will know that I'm a, I'm a very lilac centric person. Oh, uh, so where did the um, where did the purple come from, and, and why is it such a big part of your image and artistry? Well, purple is a very creative color, um, color of royalty. I would consider myself part of that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I honestly colored my hair purple initially because my eyes are hazel, and I wanted them to look greener. And I just rolled with it, and it's been seven and a half years that I've had purple that's a, hair. That's an aggressive strategy. You're like, yeah. I want my eyes to look greener. I looked at a color wheel and was like, that's how you do it. Wow. And that was it. And uh, so it was I very, think it worked. I think it's it worked. a very random, uh, spontaneous ADHD decision that turned into a seven and a half year commitment. You could get color contacts and or something. Brand. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean. But sometimes they look a little freaky. I don't, don't want to put stuff on my eye. That sounds That's true. not nice, not pleasant. Um, but but yeah, and then it's just turned into my brand. And there are rumors that I'm not from this planet because it's natural. So I'll I'll let that I'll let you decide if that's legit or not. It looks natural to me, folks. <laughs> no roots, no roots. <laughs> so uh, you know, feeling like an alien a bit. Maybe that ties into the previous single, "She Weirdo." Yes, yeah. So I've always kind of felt like an outcast and um, never fit in socially. Um, so to find my place in this world, art and creating stuff has been my saving <laughs> godsend on that part because um, I, I needed an outlet, a way to express myself that didn't have to do with fitting into someone else's idea of what acceptable social engagement is. And for me, music has done that, um, not only the art itself, but the people that I've met in it. And yeah, I mean, we're all a whole bunch of weirdos in this business, as I'm sure you know. And <laughs> this guy would yeah. know. <laughs> would know. Um, and where do you feel you fit in musically, or you know, not necessarily mm -hmm. saying that you have to choose a genre, but how mm -hmm. would you describe your sound to those who might not be familiar? Yeah, I mean, as far as a hybrid situation, Avril meets Sia is kind of my vibe. I do the edgy, strong songs, um, but I also like to have fun and rock out a bit. I've got a bit of a punk spirit to me. Grew up listening to Yes and Zeppelin, so um, I like to keep it rock and fun, but um, still having that pop element and kind of signature 
songwriting uh, for, uh, format that um, I, I love using. Where exactly does the, the spark take place or where does the, the, the writing process, the, the creative process begin? Is it on guitar or is it a melody right. in your head or is it you know always a, a type of collaboration? I mean, it's usually just as random as me. Um, I can be a song can spark from uh, pretty much anything uh, as long as there's some kind of um, purpose and and why I do what I do and who I am behind it. Um, it usually runs real fast, and I've got a song in, in, in ten minutes or so, just based off of a title idea or a chord progression. It just has to spark that purpose of why I do this. Do you typically have music first or lyrics? Music usually comes first, but I do love writing from titles. Um, so is it the title that comes to you, or do you have like a, a, a title a title guy? You text <laughs> him and you say, hey, give me a title. I do have many pages in my notebook that are just filled with titles based off of things that I've seen in my life. Um, but I'm a very visual person in, in my mind, so when I have a concept of something, it pl I see the music video in my head. I see the live show in my head, and from there, I know the story. So the music video for ADHD AF. It was a vision. Was a, that th that and was did a vision. It, it turned out turned exactly, out like it? exactly, and better. Wow. Because as as things progress, there's added things, but honestly, once I see it in my head, I I work real hard to execute it and honor the art as it came out. Very cool. Yeah. All right, and, and what can uh, people expect from you uh, forthcoming? Forthcoming? Um, I'm going to be putting out a lot of music. My goal is to put a song out uh, every month or so um, with a video. Um, I also stream live on Twitch uh, two to three times a week. I do uh, two to four hour shows just depending on how long I want to hang out with my weirdo crew. Those are my fans on there. and. Uh, uh, you can find me there, and then of course all the other social medias, YouTube, music videos, and live shows in a city near you. No, not really. I mean, like, <laughs> there's like five cities that I'm touring right now, but hopefully you're one of them. Can you list them in alphabetical order? Not in alphabetical order. I'm way too dyslexic. I'll do it backwards. <laughs> um, but I mean, LA, Phoenix, New York, um, San Diego, and San Francisco are the main places that I usually visit. And where are you based out of again? Los Angeles. Okay. But again, you can find me anywhere and watch my shows um, on the live stream. Are you like in New York? I love New York. I absolutely love it. Every time I come here, the energy. You know, LA is all right. It's, it's a bit spread out. There's a, a lot of kookies walking around. But, a lot of kookies. But here, it's concentrated kookie, you know? Oh, yeah. You just know that you're fitting in with all the crazies, you know? It's not spread out and... and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, okay. I like here that everybody just wears whatever and it's yeah, like, you're working on being a weirdo, doing whatever, you're working on doing this, like, let's just go work and be weird together, you know, it's just yeah. it's separate but together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do you, I'll do me, we're good. And I, cool. and I like that hustle of energy of the city a lot. Very cool. Well, yeah. uh, we're very happy to have you in New York. Thank you. And here at Pop Dust. Yes. Yeah.